Once upon a time, there was a beautiful kingdom. The kingdom was ruled by a great king called Kavan. He was very intelligent. And he was very clever. By now, an enemy threat is approaching. A foe ruler had seized a portion of the kingdom. The king noticed that there would be a war in the future. The king wanted to make his army stronger for a battle that would happen soon. He asked people to join the army, and he searched for people with specific talents to create a special group of soldiers. At that time, there was a kid named Nandi, living in a village close to the kingdom. His parents were farmers. Since Nandi was a child, he has done amazing things. Nandi would often go to the field with his parents. But as he got older, the parents had to take care of him rather than work in the field. Nandi was very energetic and always wanted to explore new things. He was stronger than other kids. He made everything worse. He ran all over the farm, terrified the animals, climbed up the trees, and messed up everything. The parents decided that Nandi should stay home until they came back from work. The next day, they asked Nandi to stay at home and wait for them to come back in the evening while they went to work in the field. But Nandi did not want to stay. After the parents left, little Nandi felt bored at home with nothing to do. He remembered the many things he could do on the farm. So, he went to the farm by himself. Nandi's parents were both angry, but they didn't blame Nandi for anything. They understood that Nandi was a special child. After the first attempt failed, they decided to try a different way. The day after, father brought a big rock. Put it in the house. Tied Nandi to the rock with a rope. One side of the rope was attached to the rock, and the other side was tied around Nandi's waist. After that, the father and mother went to the farm for their work. Nandi didn't stay in the house for very long. He didn't feel like doing anything. He wanted to see his parents. And he wanted to chase after the chickens. Jump over the rocks. Then he tried to go to the farm. But something stopped him. Something pulled him backward. Once more, Nandi attempted to move. He couldn't move forward. The next time, Nandi tried his best by pulling hard. The rope was broken. Little Nandi flew to the farm. The parents were surprised to see their son come to the farm with a broken rope around his waist. They realized that the rope wasn't strong enough to hold Nandi. So, the parents had to work on the farm with Nandi that day. The next day, father found a strong string instead of a rope. And tied the boy to the rock and told the boy to stay home until they came back from work. But it didn't work when Nandi got older. Nandi would come to the farm, dragging the rock with him. So, the parents used to tie Nandi to a big bamboo bush near the house when they went to work. One day, Nandi's parents were working on the farm like they usually do. They heard that people from nearby farms were yelling. They looked to find out what was happening outside. They were amazed when they saw Nandi drag the entire bamboo bush with him to the farm. At this moment, the parents were happy for their son. Time went by. Nandi was getting bigger and stronger. His strength was famous from village to village. By that time, 
King Coven was looking for people with special skills and strengths to join his army. The message about Nandi's strength was passed to the castle. The king summoned Nandi to his army by sending his ministers to Nandi's family with presents. Nandi's parents knew this could happen someday and were happy for their son. They blessed his son with good wishes. Nandi went to the castle. He was given a separate house with guards in the kingdom. Even if the king knew his abilities, he wanted to test Nandi before admitting him to the army to eliminate any doubts people had about Nandi's strength and abilities. The king made Nandi come to the royal playground alone without his knowledge and freed the king's tusker after him. The king's tusker was very strong and intelligent. And well trained for war. Nandi saw a giant tusker running towards him. He had no fear. He didn't run away and carefully checked the tusker's movements. He understood that the tusker was outraged. The tusker saw Nandi standing in the middle of the ground in a charged stance. This made the tusker angrier. It came without stopping to crush this little human. It came, stirring the dust and trumpeting loudly. Nandi did not move a bit. Tusker came and stopped at once. Both looked at each other for a moment. Nandi saw Tusker's eyes filled with anger. At once, the Tusker raised its trunk to strike. But there's no luck with Tusker. Nandi grabbed its tusks and pushed back the Tusker, screaming a thread of voice. Tusker couldn't handle Nandi's power. He sat on the ground. The Tusker could not imagine what had happened and ran away from Nandi. Thus, Nandi has conquered the king's tusker. The king was quite pleased. Nandi was added to the king's strength. It is said that the tusker remembered this and was ashamed of its defeat. This conflict continued until the final war. In the final war, Nandi and tusker were assigned to the same battle in the same battalion. At the final stage of the war, both had to break through a huge wall to enter the enemy kingdom. When the people failed to break the wall, this job was handed over to the king's tusker. While the tusker was successfully bringing down the wall, a part of the wall fell upon the tusker. Nandi saw that the tusker was in danger, and he quickly came to the tusker, gave the shoulder to the falling wall, and stopped with his strength until the tusker was safely removed to a safe place. The tusker was thankful to Nandi and removed all his wrong thoughts about Nandi. They were good friends. For many years, Nandi served the king to protect the country against foes. Engaged in massive battles face to face. Lead a battalion of soldiers for the king. After a long series of fatal battles, the kingdom was stable. The king gave all the facilities, with a high rank in his army and a palace close to the castle. He lived a peaceful life in the palace while serving the kingdom and its people with his knowledge and abilities.